panda wildlife, the giant panda is perhaps the most powerful symbol in the world when it comes to species conservation. Adored around the world, the distinctive black and white animal is a national treasure in China and has been the symbol of WWF since its formation in 1961. While its numbers are slowly increasing, the giant panda remains one of the rarest and most endangered bears in the world. Pandas are dependent on their mothers for the first few months of their lives and are fully weaned at eight to nine months. Most pandas leave their mothers when she becomes pregnant again, usually at about 18 months. A panda's average lifespan in the wild is 14 minutes 20 years, but they can live up to 30 years in captivity. The giant panda, Aelorapoda melanoyuca, is a relative of the bear and is native to mountain ranges of central China. This creature once had a much larger range and lived in the lowlands, but habitat loss has restricted its possible range. Giant panda Pandas prefer forests with a dense bamboo understory and have a diet composed almost entirely of this plant. The giant panda lifespan in the wild is between 14 and 20 years. However, in captivity, they can live for up to 30 years. Except for mating and the time spent between mothers and cubs, much of the life cycle of a panda is spent in solitary. About the panda population, finding out how many pandas exist in the wild is not an easy task. In fact, it requires a massive effort, with teams of researchers spending many hours trekking through steep, mountainous bamboo forests looking for telltale signs, in particular for dung. Often, they have to walk for days, inspecting every meter of the forest floor for panda poop. When they find some, they sift through it and pick out any pieces of undigested bamboo. And by carefully studying any bite marks, it is possible to identify individual pandas because their bite marks are all unique. Each team is composed of 40 people and can cover around 80 km to a remote, difficult terrain every day, habitat. But due to expanding human populations and development, the species is now restricted to around 20 isolated patches of bamboo forest in six mountain ranges in China's Sichuan, Shaanxi, and Gansu provinces. Most of the remaining wild pandas live in the Minchin and Kinling Mountains, and it is here that WWF has focused its giant panda conservation work, supporting the Chinese government's efforts to conserve the species. Since habitat loss is the most serious threat to the panda, establishing new reserves and extending existing ones are crucial to its survival. After a significant increase in recent in years, China now boasts a network of 67 panda reserves, which safeguard more than 66% of the giant pandas in the wild and almost 54% of their existing habitat. The Chinese government, in partnership with WWF, has also developed bamboo corridors to link isolated pockets of forest, allowing the pandas within them to move to new areas, find more food and meet more potential breeding mates. Diet A panda's daily diet consists almost entirely of the leaves, stems and shoots of various bamboo species. Bamboo contains very little nutritional value, so pandas must eat 12 to 38 kilograms every day to meet their energy needs. But they do branch out, with about 1% of their diet comprising other plants and even meat. While they are almost entirely vegetarian, pandas will sometimes hunt for pikas and other small rodents. Indeed, as members of the bear family, giant pandas possess the digestive system of a carnivore, although they have evolved to depend almost entirely on bamboo. Panda life. Pandas are mistakenly believed to be poor breeders due to the disappointing reproductive performance of captive animals. But long-term studies have shown that wild panda populations can have reproductive rates comparable to some American black bear populations, which are thriving. Breeding facts. Giant pandas reach sexual maturity at 5.5 to 6.5 years. A female can mate with several males who compete over her. A male will seek out different females who are on heat. The mating season is in spring between March and May. Males and females usually associate for no more than 2 minus 4 days. Gestation takes from 95 minus 160 days. Pandas normally give birth to single young. Twins seem to be born more frequently in captivity when artificial insemination is used. The reproductive rate is about one cub every two years. Birth facts. A newborn panda cub weighs just 90 to 130 grams. A cub is just one divided by 900, the size of its mother, one of the smallest newborn mammals relative to its mother's size. Pandas are dependent on their mothers for the first few months of their lives and are fully weaned at eight to nine months. Most pandas leave their mothers when she becomes pregnant again, usually at about 18 months. A panda's average lifespan in the wild is 14 minutes 20 years, but they can live up to 30 years in captivity. Adult facts. Giant pandas are generally solitary. Each adult has a well-defined home range. Although they are not territorial, females do not tolerate other females and sub-adults within the core areas of their range. Encounters are rare outside the brief mating season, but pandas communicate with each other fairly often mostly through vocalization and scent marking. While roaming their territories, they mark their roads by spraying urine, 
clawing tree trunks and rubbing against objects. Enemies A fully grown panda is far too formidable a foe for most predators, but some animals can prey on cubs. Potential predators include jackals, snow leopards, and yellow-throated martens, all of which are capable of killing and eating panda cubs. Indeed, the 2008 animated blockbuster Kung Fu Panda tells the story of Po, a panda who is an apprentice noodle maker and Kung Fu fanatic, and whose greatest enemy is Tai Lung a fierce kung fu fighting snow leopard. In real life, snow leopards, which are also endangered, share some of the same habitats as the black and white bears and pose a threat to young pandas. Life cycle Pandas are mistakenly believed to be poor breeders due to the disappointing reproductive performance of captive animals, but long-term studies have shown that wild panda populations can have reproductive rates comparable to some American black bear populations, which are thriving. Breeding facts Giant pandas reach sexual maturity at 5.5 to 6.5 Five years. A female can mate with several males who compete over her. A male will seek out different females who are on heat. The mating season is in spring between March and May. Males and females usually associate for no more than 2 minus 4 days. Gestation takes from 95 minus 160 days. Pandas normally give birth to single young. Twins seem to be born more frequently in captivity when artificial insemination is used. The reproductive rate is about one cub every two years. Birth facts. A newborn panda cub weighs just 90 to 130 grams. A cub is just one divided by 900, the size of its mother, one of the smallest newborn mammals relative to its mother's size. Pandas are dependent on their mothers for the first few months of their lives and are fully weaned at eight to nine months. Most pandas leave their mothers when she becomes pregnant again, usually at about 18 months. A panda's average lifespan in the wild is 14 minutes 20 years, but they can live up to 30 years in captivity. Adult facts. Giant pandas are generally solitary. Each adult has a well-defined home range. Although they are not territorial, females do not tolerate other females and sub-adults within the core areas of their range. Encounters are rare outside the brief mating season, but pandas communicate with each other fairly often mostly through vocalization and scent marking. While roaming their territories, they mark their roots by spraying urine, clawing tree trunks, and rubbing against objects. Future, giant panda numbers are slowly increasing, but the rare bear is not out of the woods yet. Traditional threats to pandas such as poaching appear to be declining, but large-scale disturbances including mining, Hydropower, tourism, and infrastructure construction are becoming more severe. WWF's 2015 to 2025 Giant Panda Conservation Strategy sets the course for panda protection efforts over the next decade and will focus on improving panda habitat in a manner that balances conservation with local sustainable development. WWF will cooperate with the government as well as working with partners and the public to protect key habitats and ensure a sustainable wild giant panda population and benefit local communities. These conservation efforts will also benefit many other rare species of animals and plants that live side by side with the pandas, including the endangered tachin, golden monkey, red panda, and crested ibis. Fragmentation. After a significant increase in recent years, China now boasts a network of 67 panda reserves, which safeguard almost two thirds of the giant pandas in the wild and just over half of their existing habitat. But habitat loss and fragmentation remain the gravest threats to the survival of the species. A large proportion of the panda's habitat has already been lost, logged for timber and fuel wood, or cleared for agriculture and infrastructure to meet the needs of the area's booming population. The Chinese government banned logging in the panda's habitat in 1998, but new roads and railways are continuing to cut through the region, further fragmenting the forests. This isolates panda populations and prevents them from breeding. It also leaves them more vulnerable to bamboo die-offs. Bamboo naturally dies off every 4 to minus 120 years, depending on the type. In the past, pandas could migrate to new areas in search of food, but nowadays that they are no longer able to follow the bamboo. Harvesting The pandas' mountainous forests continue to be degraded by people harvesting bamboo, gathering firewood, and collecting medicinal herbs. The mentioned mountains alone contain over 5,000 plant species, 75% of which are used in traditional Chinese medicine. Harvesting these medicinal plants provides many families with an important source of income, but it also places additional pressure on the fragile forests, as does mass tourism. The construction of tourist facilities and the rapidly increasing number of tourists in the forest is causing significant disturbance to pandas and their habitats. Some poaching of pandas still occurs. Hunting the animals for their fur has declined due to strict laws and greater public awareness of the panda's protected status. While it is rare for poachers to intentionally kill a panda, some are accidentally injured or killed by traps and snares set for other animals, such as musk deer and 
white bears. Reproduction. The giant panda reaches sexual maturity at the age of about five years and remains capable of reproduction until about the age of 20.